Well, it's a beautiful day in January. It's, uh, I think, around zero degrees, and this is freezing rain. I left work early this morning, and it was about 10 degrees above zero, and it was pouring rain the whole drive here. I picked up Cousin Bill there, Brother Bill, I should say, in uh, Listowel, and it was uh, still about eight degrees when we left his house, and it poured rain our whole drive here. We are at the uh, Western Uplands Backpacking Trail in Algonquin Park, uh, just a few kilometers in from the West Gate. And we're going on a hike and a winter camp adventure for two nights, hopefully. And this weather is uh, the pits, but we're going to deal with it. So come along with us. <laughs> oh, did you see his teeth? <laughs> I got to feel apart. <laughs> oh, <awesome. laughs> I That's forgot. I forgot. Yeah. not easy. It's gorgeous. and we gathered a bunch of firewood. There's a bunch of good dead stuff around, so it was, it was uh, not too hard to find, which is great. It could be uh, a bit of an issue getting our first fire going with the ice rain um, and the wet kindling and whatnot, but we're gonna try our very best. Hopefully everything will work out okay. We got our shelter set up with the tarp over it. We have to keep shaking all the snow off of it. Again, I sold the waterproof case on because of the uh, ice rain, so apologies for the audio. 
Your hat is awesome. <laughs> it's starting to just snow now, which is better than ice rain. The wind is coming from this way, and we've got our fire pit here, and so Bill is just digging a wall of snow behind it to kind of block the wind. Building a, building a fort in the woods. I tried lighting up the twig stove with some birch bark, but everything's so soaked from the rain and uh, the ice rain and stuff, so I decided not to bother with it anymore. We'll save our uh, lighter and fire starters for actual fire. Yeah. It's a winter wonderland out here. We camp nearby a stream here. This is a very nice little water source. Check it out. started. We're going to grill some steaks, courtesy of Blackview Farms, of course. Nothing but the best here on Ontario Fishing Quest. This snow is uh, kind of turned to a sleet and we're exposed to it out here. So, you know, it's tricky getting this going. We're doing our best. This fire right now is the biggest morale booster ever. It started ice raining again basically, but we don't care. <laughs> it is what it is. Steaks on, got potatoes in the pot. Okay, we are all settled into our tent. We're settled into our sleeping bags and we got our sleeping pads arranged the way that we want them to be. We had an awesome steak dinner with uh, potatoes for supper. 
and we finally got some good heat out of the fire but the wind was so crazy uh, it was hard to sit and enjoy it because you'd be constantly getting smoke in your face and whatnot but um, we did get warm uh, and it helps being in the tent and being in your sleeping bag for sure um, this sort of freezing rain sleet is still going on it really hasn't stopped it hasn't let up at all all day so um, it was a tough day to be out there for sure and this was Bill's first day ever winter camping so Bill you know it was fun but I'm tired and cold now fun but tired and cold so that's the way it goes hopefully uh you want to come out again <laughs> we have one more night here we better uh, not chicken out so we got to do it so anyways folks i'll check in with you in the morning we'll see ya coming up on part two bill and i awake to an absolutely beautiful day and we have ourselves a full and hearty breakfast we start our second day with a renewed awareness and sense of wonder as we observe what's around us. We take the time to adequately prepare ourselves for the upcoming cold night, which was forecasted to be minus 17 degrees Celsius. Taking advantage of the beautiful weather, we take on the challenge of snowshoeing along the Western Uplands backpacking trail towards Gasqua Lake. The hike was difficult but beautiful and the rewards were very worth it. Tune in to part two and make sure to see it for yourself. These types of experiences may challenge us and cause us to question why we do what we do. Why do we put ourselves through this? It's because the challenges we face are nothing compared to the rewards that await us. When it's all said and done, every challenge is so worth it. <laughs>